Hey Westies, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the new Project Rainbow clip. I honestly was not expecting Rainbow High to drop this like completely out of nowhere, out of the blue, like so unexpectedly, but I mean I guess wonky release dates are kind of Rainbow High's thing. Anyway, I'm actually really excited for what I'm seeing and this actually adds a lot more to the table than I had anticipated. So let's break it down. This is a YouTube short that was released today on Rainbow High's channel. And despite being only like 30 seconds of content, I think it reveals a lot about what we don't know about this new season and confirms more that we already know. So first of all, what it confirms for us, that this is still a competition. It's still Project Rainbow. There are still teams and the A's will still be here. So we have Ainsley, Avery, and Aiden. The how they'll be organized on each team, I'm guessing Avery and Aiden are going to be on Team Rainbow High and Ainsley on Team Shadow High. We even see them like having their cells arm in arm, like in the clip. So I feel like they will be on the same team. It also appears that Glitch is here, which I was not expecting actually. Skylar's still here. They say 16 students, which is starting to confuse me because like, first of all, each Rainbow High line, six dolls. So six plus six is 12, which means there's four extra students. I had originally anticipated the four extra students were going to be Skylar, Aiden, Avery, Ainsley. But Glitch is here as well, which now that I think about it, yeah, Glitch is part of Shadow High Series 2, apparently, um, so she's here. Now let's talk about what we don't know. Um, there's this lady in a red pantsuit with purple braids across her hair, which she looks like she's going to be a total girl boss, but ignoring that, um... Due to fan specul speculation, we're led to believe that this is actually Maria Garcia, that one special edition doll that nobody bought, the one that went on sale like for $30 a mere month after release. Yeah, she's here and she's back. Also, the outfit, like, I understand they're trying to include her, like, at a hope of getting advertised, but honestly, if this is Maria Garcia, she's honestly doomed, like, Bringing her back in season four is not gonna help her case, honestly. But anyway, she's in this really cute red pantsuit, which honestly, I wish they would have done that for her doll instead of trying to do this inaccurate Day of the Dead inspired outfit. Because like, what's the point of like doing a Day of the Dead doll when it's not even gonna be accurate to the culture and you mix up like Spanish and Mexican culture to create the look? which I personally feel like was a hard flop on Rainbow High's part. Now, this short does raise some questions for me. And the main question that's on my mind is like, if this lady is here, presumably Maria Garcia, does that mean that Sunny and Luna are like no longer hosts of the show? Because based on previous clips that we've seen, it appears that Sunny and Luna are like hosting the shows. They're like the hosts. They'll be giving them their new challenges. But now we have this lady narrating everything and it feels like she's about to be the host. So that's a bit confusing. The only way I can try and explain this is that Sunny and Luna are the main hosts. They'll be giving like everyone like their fashion projects and their assignments during the contest but maybe she'll be like the narrator who's kind of there and also somewhat of a neutral member of the judges panel because Sunny is from Rainbow High so she'll be potentially biased so that Rainbow High will win and Luna is from Shadow High so she could be biased for Shadow High to win but then Maria Garcia is technically a Rainbow High doll, but we don't really know if she actually attends Rainbow High. Like, for example, it's a similar situation with Soul Select, which, yes, they're technically Rainbow High dolls because that's the name of the brand, and Shadow High is only a spin-off brand, but when they won Rainbow Vision, it wasn't like Rainbow High won Rainbow Vision. It was Soul Select, which is completely different, apparently. So I feel like she is just, like, 
like the royal three situation where she's not necessarily like a rainbow high candidate because like she doesn't actually attend rainbow high but she's more of like just a rainbow high doll but not really having much to do with the actual rainbow high school i also am not sure like what they were trying to do with this clip and by they i mean rainbow high because yes of course we love a new teaser but like i'm not sure what they were trying to put in our heads with this like i understand posting teasers and trailers like for the hype you know what i mean like you know get people excited i mean the show is coming in like four days like after all but as well as the fact is like the fact that they don't reveal anything about her really is also interesting because they're trying to get us to wonder which i i also have a big question if rainbow high if you're watching why bring back maria because like i've already talked about how she was a major flop not only with the cultural like inaccuracies but as well as the fact that she was way overpriced and like they put these gimmicky things in her box to make it seem like she was worth the over the over exaggerated price point when the reality was she actually wasn't so and also like rainbow high is a kid's show like rainbow high is not intended for the adult collectors it's meant to entertain kiddos to get them interested in the show even though personally i feel like most of these doll shows the majority of the time when people watch it's like you know the dolls then they started a show then you check out the show just because you collect the dolls and then that's how you get involved. But anyway, this show is for the kiddos. Like, it's an animated cartoon with big, bulgy eyes and unrealistic things for high schoolers to be doing. But, like, it's okay because, like, oh, it's for kids or whatever. The thing is, like, Maria Garcia is, like, she is a collector doll. So what is she doing in, like, a kid show? And you could say, oh, what about Jet Dawson? But I feel like that's different. Because while Jet Dawson was, like, more pricey, I feel like she has more of a kid appeal compared to Maria Garcia. Jet Dawson came with, like, extra stuff and extra accessories and had that play style. Like, her outfit was actually, like, something you could swap with your dolls as, like, a casual, a casual look. But I feel like Maria Garcia with, like, face full of makeup, super flamboyant, exaggerated dress, light up box like she was very clearly marked like collector's edition and when you put dolls in the show the purpose of them is to market them market them specifically to kids so like are they trying to market this overpriced collector dolls like collector doll to kids like that's my question here because i feel like no kid personally would be interested in buying maria garcia like even if you say oh what about like uh the latina kids for the culture or whatever but also like she's entirely inaccurate so not sure what that's about anyway enough talking about maria garcia um if this is maria garcia i think that they're gonna have her dress show up as an appearance like in the finale with the runway show because I believe that this competition is supposed to be creating like the best runway show of all time which technically they haven't confirmed but considering we're getting Rainbow High Series 1 runway dolls now and there's like Project Rainbow and like we just saw Violet and Sunny in their like runway outfits and like now Sunny and Luna are getting these brand new outfits and Maria Garcia is here where she can really show off her dress. I feel like it's just the perfect way to plan this massive runway. Rainbow High Series 1, these new contestants, uh, Maria Garcia, even if I don't personally like her. Um, who else? Sunny and Luna debuting their new fits. I feel like this whole thing is leading up to a runway. And if so, I hope they execute it well, because we are not about to have another costume ball situation where they animated them with brand spanking new outfits that they did not come with. But what are your thoughts on this clip, this teaser and this short? So what are you thinking? Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Personally, I think it's gonna be this big flamboyant runway thing where they bring back all the dresses, but I just really hope they don't give them, as in the new series, um, outfits that they don't come with. 
But basically, that's all I have to share. I'll see you guys next time and share your thoughts in the comments below. Bye!